Hello and welcome to my lavish computer management tips and tricks. We'll clean things, integrate optimized settings, followed with a list of apps for privacy, safety, and performance. To lay the foundation, we will be de-bloating. De-bloating essentially does everything I mentioned before, freeing storage, tweaking settings, and overall generating a fresh, safe experience for you. Now be sure to be on Windows 10 or 11 for this step. We'll plop open PowerShell as admin and paste this command. This first page has a ton of programs in it. However, I have my own personal list, so I won't really be using this. For now, let's just head into the tweaks tab. Use desktop if you're not on a laptop and laptop if you are. The minimal option is for the absolute minimal changes, meant for very basic privacy and security tweaks, not really performance. Most of what it does is self-explanatory, or you can just look it up on your computer. However, what the hell does that mean? Well, there's a program called ONO Shutup, which is an anti-spy program for Windows, and this uses their recommended settings. It also disables telemetry, which is a data collecting system for Windows users. I'll have a video linked below which will explain this in more depth. Now the config tab. This features many useful and borderline necessary tools to have on your system. Some things like direct play I believe are actually required to play many older games like GTA San Andreas. Legacy Windows panels aren't really necessary as they're exactly as it sounds. The final tab, updates, is also really important. Windows updates can be inconsistent in quality or just plain unnecessary. You can read all that it says here. Personally, I use and recommend the security settings option. Now on to maintaining storage. I personally use Glary Utilities for pretty much everything related to this. This bad boy lets you clear tons of junk on your system, find and uninstall programs, clean up your registry, analyze your hard drive to see what's taking up so much space, and much, much more. However, the closed source nature and weird history with this program leaves a sour taste in a lot of people's mouths. I just really love this program and I've been using it for years. If you don't really like using this program due to all that, you can use some alternatives. Bleachbit is great for cleaning out junk, in fact it's better albeit much more extreme, and it's open source. Winderstat is also a great open source option for analyzing your hard drive. Windows has a problem with their files. They essentially treat your files like scattered puzzle pieces. Every time you interact with your files, they have to gather them all and remake the puzzles. Whether you're searching for files or simply loading a video game, this is pretty slow and terrible. It's known as fragmentation. It's pretty fucked up if this gets built up too much. So every few months, you should defrag your hard drive. And do note, never do this on an SSD as it can injure the poor thing instead of helping it. There's a video linked below going in more depth. To defrag, there's numerous tools out there. Windows even has their own. Personally, I'm not the most educated on the subject. I'll have a website known as Alternative 2 linked below so you can gather a list to research. As I'm sure you've been told, protection is important, especially in the computer scene. I use Malwarebytes and Adware Cleaner. As long as you're not a big fat dummy on the web, you should be okay. But either way, you should be using uBlock Origin. This is the best privacy browser add-on to use. This bad boy is meant to block many spooky scary things, and that so happens to include ads. If you're interested in more cool browser extensions such as this, then privacytools.io has a neat list covering some more. Password management is also extremely important. If you reuse any passwords, I'd must say that's pretty cringe and not so safe. KeyPass XE generates passwords for you and even saves them in a pretty neat list. You can have it all saved locally with some quality encryption. There's also a browser add-on to automatically input passwords, but I don't really use it. If you want to find more good free programs, I have a 100 plus long list of program selects along with some goodie websites. The link is in the description. So, uh, bye.